Hello to my fabulously fashionable viewers and welcome to an episode of Fashion Forward. A couple weeks late, but fantastic nonetheless. And as a side note, I do promise that the next couple weeks I will be on top of this. I actually have themes for the episodes, which will make it easier. Now, on to today's episode. You may notice that my hair has an accessory a bit crazier than usual. And while I did a hair accessories video a while back, I want to talk about a fantastically exciting brand new trend that I have in this bag to show to all of you people. So what is it? Feathers. That is right. I am talking about feathered hair accessories. They come in a wide range of colors. I literally bought out one of every color that was available when I went and got mine. And I have this black and white zebra one as well. Now the great thing about feathers is that you can do a lot of really exciting things with them in your hair. And it's fun, it's light, it's fluffy. The feathers that you would clip and they would like hang down and stuff that's kind of out right now. So instead, we have a new way of doing feathers. Now, I am going to show you a couple of options. For example, there's this one with my black and white bow and my black and white feathers, my Dalmatian stone ring, and my sort of black and white necklace. Got a black and white feel going on. But if you've got red, you can spice it up with a red flower, and look how adorable that is. And this one is quite big. This one is a much smaller flower, so it's a bit more understated and the giant one stuck to my head. Um, if you've got a flower that has feathers incorporated, then you're just adding more feathery fun. And as you can see, it's like two-toned now because it's a different shade of the pink. If you've got this style of feather, you can also pair it up. And although it does blend in quite a bit, it's still really interesting and it pops really nicely. If you've got two complementary colors such as the two purples, you can definitely rock that. And the benefit of having the black is that black and white actually looks fantastic with anything. So take out the giant flower in your head, you can pair the black with this color, with the lavender, you could do it with red, you could also pair it with different colored flowers for a really exciting look. So it's definitely really cute fun way to add some spice to your look. You can do it on either side, you can do it from the back and have it kind of stick up a bit, which would be super cute if you had like a headband. Really there are countless number of options for what you can do with your hair with these feathers. Now, these are quite large. These are not subtle hair pieces at all. So if you're going to wear them, make sure that you're wearing them with an outfit that is going to wow while you're wearing it and that you can kind of feel comfortable and confident. These are not accessories for everyone. Some people are going to feel like they're just way too huge and like crazy. And some people are going to find them completely fun. You can even do something like this. So feathers, new fashionable item. Um, I actually got mine from a kid's clothing store, uh, but you can find them at all sorts of different accessory places. That's just where I found the best deal on them. Uh, so what do you guys think of the feathers? Yay? Nay? Are we loving? Are we despising? Uh, let me know in the comments down below and or a video <laughs> response. And um, let me know what creative ways that you can come up with to wear these feathers. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can stay tuned for all the fabulous fashion videos and check out the other ones. And you can also check out my main channel, Little Miss Discord, which is going to be linked to below. So that's it for me for now. But until next time, don't forget to keep your best fashion forward. Bye.